Hello and welcome to Study Topics. This week we're going to be covering a topic that many students find pretty difficult, and that's the facial nerve and how it's related to upper motor neuron lesions versus lower motor neuron lesions. Now, there's a fairly simple way to memorize this, and I'm sure most of you have done that, and that's the simple rule that in a lower motor neuron lesion, the entire ipsilateral face droops, versus in an upper motor neuron lesion, the contralateral face droops and the forehead is spared. But do many of you know why this happens? I'm going to explain it to you. So first, we have our two hemispheres, left and right. And if we look at our brainstem's three components, the midbrain, pons, and medulla, we can kind of put this all together. So for demonstration's sake, the pons is a little bit bigger here. I want to show you the location of the facial nerve nuclei, and that's within the pons. So the facial nerve's motor innervation is to the muscles of facial expression. When we are assessing upper motor neuron lesions and lower motor neuron lesions, we're using this innervation to help us determine whether the nerve is upper or lower, okay? And remember, cranial nerves are part of the peripheral nervous system, okay? So the nerve is then divided into two regions to innervate either the upper or lower part of the face. If we come through here, we can see that the upper part of the face has contralateral motor cortex innervation. It also has ipsilateral motor cortex innervation. And again, this is only to the upper part of the face. Let's see that one more time. The right side of the brain and the left side of the brain both cause innervation to the upper side of the face. When we look at the lower side of the face, we have contralateral innervation. Now, let's take a look if we have a lesion. If we have a lesion to the brain, we can see here that there are two pathways that are affected. We have the first nerve here that is affected, which means that we're not going to have innervation to the face from the right side of the brain. And we are also not going to have innervation to the bottom of the face. What we will have, though, is the left side innervating the top of the face. So if we draw in our little face and mouth, we know that the eye is still innervated because it has dual innervation from the left and right side. And the bottom of the face is the only thing that will be affected. So let's now look at a different example. When we have a lower motor neuron lesion, we can see that nothing is getting through. Despite the fact that there is dual innervation, where that lesion is, it blocks the innervation to both the upper face and the lower face. So we get a drooping forehead and mouth. So it's really important to know that the reason why the face is spared, the upper part of the face is spared, is because there is dual innervation by the motor cortex in the upper part of the face. I hope this uh, makes this topic a little less confusing for you. Thanks for joining me. Are you looking for help to prepare for your upcoming exam? Head over to ptprep.ca where you can learn all about our courses. If you still have questions, shoot us an email at info at ptexamprep.ca. Thanks for joining me today.